Hello everyone, it's Kei. So this video is uploaded on the 7th of November 2020 on Saturday. Well technically this is recorded on the 6th of November on Friday, one day before. So um, from the month of November, um, I decided to record videos on Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Saturdays and upload it on the same time when I do the live streams. So today's topic um, on Saturdays, every Saturdays, I talk about psychology and money management strategy. And today's topic is about time efficiency. So, um, ever since I become a full-time forex trader um, in Tokyo, Japan, um, time efficiency has been uh, my big topic. Um, I wanted to save time um, to analyze markets, pairs, um, because um, ever since I become a full-time trader, um, I don't want to look at the chart 24 hours. Um, before I was a, a full-time worker and part-time trader and I was dreaming of becoming a full-time trader uh, because um, so that I can stick to the chart uh, anytime I want well longer time than I do when I was a full-time worker and so that I can have more opportunities in the market. I was thinking that way. So right after I um, I finished my work, I quit my work full time and become a full time trader. Um, initially, I was looking at the chart about like um, maybe ten hours or maybe more, like uh, eleven or twelve hours per day. I was a scalper before, so uh, I was sticking to the charts. I was laying out like uh, you know six panels in front of me. And I was checking charts constantly, like a 30, 30 or you know even more pairs or commodities. And I was basically scalping because I thought scalping is a way to generate more profit uh, over time. But um, as I did it, um, as I have been doing it uh, when I was a newbie, uh, as, as a full-time trader, um, first of all, um, you know I got so stressed because um, I was sticking to the chart all day or almost all day like uh, 12 or 13 hours per day um, except when I was eating some lunch or dinners or um, except I sleep I was basically looking at the chart so um, it was stressful for me and my theme was the time efficiency at that time I was constantly thinking how to become time efficient to the market so that I save uh, you know I have less time to analyze market and uh, but more uh, generate more profit. I was constantly thinking like that, and eventually I came to a conclusion to uh, do to, to do a multiple time frame analysis by Ichimoku and capture trending market. You know, I decided only to take trades when it's trending, and I confirm the trends in mid time frames and take trades in lower time frames so that um, it saves a lot of time for me. So um, today, this topic is about time efficiency and I will demonstrate how I would check charts um, today. Um, I have 10 pairs in my PC right now on this trading view. So um, I will time. I will time today from my iPhone and I will show you exactly how long I take to um, analyze these 10 pairs on the major pairs and um, identify which one is trending, which one is not trending. So the ones that are trending, I take trades only. I look for the trading edges. But let me show it to you how I do it over time and how long it's gonna take. So if you like today's topic already, please press a good button and um, subscribe to my channel so that you can get notified as I do these lives every day. So before starting anything here, just as a quick disclaimer, um, this information is basically based on my understanding and experience. So when you take trades, please do with your own responsibility. So, um, so I have 10 pairs on this um, trading view. So let me get ready my phone. So I will check these charts. So once again, this is on Friday at um, 
on uh, 6th of November, Friday. So here is Euro USD, Euro GBP, Euro JPY, USD JPY, CAD JPY, Euro AUD, and AUD USD, AUD JPY, AUD CAD, and GBP JPY. There are 10 pairs total. And usually on my watch list, there are 10 pairs, 9 pairs, 10 pairs, 11 pairs, depending on um, which, uh, which pair is trending or which pair is more active, I switch around these pairs. But today, as an example, I have 10 pairs on my watch list and I will show it to you. I will show you how long I take to scan these all these 10 pairs and which one to take trace. So let's get started. So I will press the start and I will look at these charts on daily chart and flower chart and which one to pick to take trace. So here we go. So I just press start. So here is Euro USD. Uh, daily chart is flat. Flower chart is uptrending. So that's nice. I will mark this one as orange and move it on to Euro GBP daily chart. Uh, it's flat. Flower chart it's flat also. Uh, Euro JPY daily chart it's daily chart flat flower chart is flat also move it on to use to jpy uh, daily chart down and flower chart is also down okay so this is a nice downtrend confirmation i will just flag it and cd jpy daily chart is flat flower chart is also well actually this is uptrending but kumo inside the kumo still euro aud uh this is flat and flower chart is also flat. AUD USD, the daily chart is flat, flower chart flat, no trace. AUD JPY, daily chart is flat, and flower chart is flat also. And AUD CAD, the daily chart is okay, this is pointing down, and flower chart is pointing up, so this is uptrend. So I will just mark it. The orange and finally GBP JPY. The daily chart is flat and four is also flat. All right, so let me stop here. So, all right, as you can see, all these 10 pairs, I will take trace. I will look for the trading edges on Euro USD and USD JPY and AUD CAD. And it took only 1 and 25 seconds. 1 minute 25 seconds to um, scan all these 10 pairs, which one is trending or not, based on my KT strategy and also Ichimoku knowledge. I usually look at the daily chart and also flower chart and compare which one is trending. And when I capture either daily chart or flower chart to be trending, then I start to look for the trading edges. So once again, as you can see here, all these 10 pairs I only take 1 minute and 25 seconds to analyze which one is trending or not. So, and from here, I look at the lower time frames and confirm the trend, and I look for the trading edges. And uh, this is what I do um, every day. I look at the charts uh, 3 to maybe 5 times a day. Um, I look at the charts uh, at the uh, um, Asian session starts, which is at 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. in Japan time. I wake up and check chart, and if there's no trends, then I come back to chart when the London session starts, slightly before the London starts, which is at 4, around like 4 p.m. in Japan time. I look at these pairs again, and then I will come back to these pairs again at uh, like 9 or 10 p.m. in Japan time, which is the New York open session time. So, and every time I look at these charts, um, if there is no trends, then about like one and a half, um, one and a half uh, minute, I look at these pairs, and if there is no trends, then I shut down the PC. I, I don't look at the chart anymore, if there is no trends on daily chart or flower chart. So sometimes, or well usually in Asian sessions, there is no trends. So I only spend one and a half minute to scam all these pairs. And if not, if there are no trends, then basically I stay away. I will come back to these charts at the London Open. So, and this is what I mean by time efficiency. 
you know, when, when you master Ichimoku or if you master the way you capture the trending market, then um, it's going to save a lot of time for you because, um, for example, Euro USD, I identified it, this one as an uptrend because the market is going up and we find a Tenkan Kijun Gold Cross, Chikol Span is breaking the Kuma uppers and Chikol Span itself is above the candles. Um, Kijun Sen up and Kumo is up, so this is uptrend to me. So this is one of the pairs that I look at the lower time frames to look for the trading edges. And also USDJPY, the daily chart is downtrending. Uh, simply the price is below Tenkan Kijun Kumo. Kumo is moving down, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen and Angles are also down, and Chikol Span below the candles. And also in 4 hour chart, this is also downtrending. You see the same setup, similar setup as the daily chart. Um, in this case, I pick the 4 hour chart because in 4, the Kumo looks to be longer. And also, um, the Chikol Span and Kijun Sen angles and, and also Tenkan Sen angles are more steep downtrending. So I can see that this is more stronger downtrend. So I take the 4 hour chart to look for the sell chance in this case. And also AUD CAD um, on the daily chart, I find that this is the uh, the, uh, the flat range. Chikol span is very close to the candles and the price in between the, um, the Kumo and the Kijun Sen. So this is the no trend market. Whereas in 4 hour chart, I can see that this is uptrending because the price is simply above the Tenkan Kijun Kumo and it's called span all the way above the candles. So instantly, I or at a glance, as Nami suggested by Ichimoku, right? At a glance, I identify which one is trending, which one is not, based on this uh, daily chart or four-hour chart analysis, and I pick up the one which one to take trace. So I hope you can analyze the way I do the market analysis. To save time is the most important aspect of uh, of any trades. I think um, ever since, if you want to become a full time trader, time efficiency becomes a key because you might think that as a full time trader, you want to check charts whenever you want to, but um, if you check charts, you know, every day, like all day long, or uh, you know, twelve or ten hours per day, then you get overwhelmed most likely and you might get some anxieties or you might get some uh, frustrations um, because you you uh, you become curious about the market every tick of the market you become curious and uh, um, you might you know you you think that the full-time trader will be a dream because you get freedom but in fact if you if you look at the market that way if you you know stick to the chart that way then um, you know you will be, you will be um, how to say it? like you will be basically um, overwhelmed by, by the market, and you will be locked by the market. And I don't want you to feel uh, that way, and I don't want you to look at the chart that way. So um, if you are still a part-time trader, then I think this is a good timing to train yourself to save time to check charts but still aim for the maximizing profit as much as possible. So I present uh, KTS uh, case trading strategy um, as a part of my trade strategy and also I use Ichimoku 5 lines uh, analysis uh, to actually save time for me and I present the strategies on this uh, YouTube channel. So I hope uh, you learn uh, the way I take trades, the way I look at the charts, analyze it, and you can be also a time efficient trader along the way. So thank you for watching until the end. And if you liked today's live already, please press a good button and make sure to subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these lives every day. So I hope to see you on the next video or live stream. So until I see you next time, Please stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Mata ne.